let's give it up to the lovely Yvette Fernandez. They all know my piece. That's right, my name is Yvette. And yes, this is going to be a multilingual show, including Spanglish and Ebonics. I know some people are already worried about it, they're kind of going, and most people are already coming up with a whole other language. Shit. Yeah, but you know what, it's a hybrid, so it's green. You know, the acceptable colors. <laughs> but you know what, there is an elitism about languages, right? I mean, we tend to value European languages the most. But I'm asking you, just how good does it do you to, how much good does it do you to know German, or Italian, how about Danish, and Greek? Yeah. How many people can you speak with if you know Greek? Five. <laughs> Spanakokita. <laughs> That's the only Greek word I know. And I don't even know what it means, but I think you eat it, right? <laughs> I have to ask my favorite lesbian. <laughs> it's true, she's from the island of lesbians. <laughs> still, you know, stereotypes are kind of hard to break. It's like, I still get, well, little lady, you don't look Mexican. You know, I don't know if that's more racist or sexist. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, really? And what does that look like, Gomer? <laughs> oh, I know. I forgot my salad and my sombrero and my tortillas. I will go to retrieve them along with my burro Pepe, who for some reason is painted to look like a zebra. <laughs> and we will take souvenir pictures. See? <laughs> ah, yes. And then on the dating scene, of course, they just want to hear some mama see the scene. I, Jewel. Jewel. Oh, too much. You, you are like a well-wrapped tamale. <laughs> you know what bugs me? is news. Television news coverage. I used to be a television reporter, and the end of my day used to end with reporting live from Norwalk, I'm Yvette Fernandez, Fox 11 News. After a while, it felt like reporting from another hood none of the other white reporters wanted to go to. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, fuck it, on my way back, I'll pick up some horchata, birria, collard greens, hog and black eyed peas. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, today, news has very little to do with journalism. I mean, it's all about the show, right? It doesn't matter how obvious or how mundane the thing is. We are going to have a special report. We might even have team coverage. The anchor will be with the visual TV. <clears throat> It's going to be a scorcher today. Andy Yvette Fernandez is standing by live out in the valley where the mercury has topped the century mark. Yvette, tell us what's going on out there. <laughs> yes, it's hot. <laughs> That's why they call it summer. Back to you, dick. <laughs> in general, are kind of a, mm, an angry group, so should we say, but with good reason. I mean, it's like this. What? You want me to go out there and traipse around in that soot and ash with my new shoes at 4.30 in the morning, and you want me to look good? I don't know what else there is to see. The place is something to bring down. You know, then you go on a rant. Why can't I have somebody write my story for me? The least you can do is have a hair and makeup crew out here. What? 30 seconds? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, <clears throat> my favorite interviews are with cops. Did you hear that? My favorite interviews are with cops. This is 
is dedicated to the cause, because I know my mom's wife people are here. Uh, oh yes, you see my, my microphone and my stage opportunity abusing today. <laughs> question. It just goes like this. So tell me, officer, what happened here? And here's what you get. <clears throat> you gotta get the whole stand thing, okay? The whole stand is like this. The heart, hands are all like this. And your arms are out like this because you're carrying around all this shit, you know, the stuff like the baton, fucking flashlight, maze, handcuffs, fucking kitchen sink, I don't know what I got, you know. Well, um, <clears throat> at approximately 0700 hours, we received a phone call that the perpetrator had made entry into the scene and he was attempting to uh, burglarize the property, the premises. We arrived on the scene shortly thereafter, apprehended the individual, and then took him into custody. It's like, ching, the money. You just want to hit him over the head and go like, can I get that in English? Spanish? Something human? And I don't know why they do that because no cop talks like that. I don't know why they don't just let it rip the way it really is. I mean, they should just go, did you just come out with it and say, first of all, we got the call at seven o'clock this morning. I was in the middle of my first donut. <laughs> God damn it, that dude was going down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my cop friends here, tell us just, just in this close, environment with our close personal friends, tell us the truth. There really is some other unknown charge, right? I'm thinking it's called something like, mm, pastry interrupt us. <laughs> it's probably a felony. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Do you know what else bugs me, especially right now while we're in the midst of elections, is the whole discussion about immigration. And the reason it bugs me is because most Americans really aren't seeing the whole picture. I mean, yes, there's millions of illegals here. Yes, most of them are them that knows. <laughs> but not a single one of them has a job that any, any American wants, right? The jobs that Americans want are going east. I'm not talking about East LA either. I'm talking about east, like India, like Asia. Oh yeah, you know the Dalai Lama is the one who's running tech support for the United States, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, you would have to call back at a different time. We can answer that question for you right now. You would have to call back between prayers, not last day. <laughs> and duh, isn't everything made in China? I mean, Here's the deal. <clears throat> there, I'm going to tell you what the deal is. There is a reason why their eyes are like that. <laughs> the reason is because of all the fucking G-forces around there. These people are moving. This is a busy society. Oh, yeah. This is a busy society. And you know what? The very basic element of their daily lives is a testament to that. Take the toilets, for example. <laughs> you guys ever seen a Chinese toilet? A Chinese toilet looks like this. You got one space right here for your feet, this foot, that foot there, and there's a drain. This is not made for lingering. <laughs> this shit is made for speed. <laughs> Americans are sitting on their throne <laughs> reading about their dwindling stock market portfolio. The Chinese are saying, oh, we got to go. We are to go. We are busy. We are busy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What? No, but... Ha! <laughs> There is not 
not even time to wipe your ass in China. That's why there's no toilet paper in the entire country. Oh yeah. You know, pretty soon the Chinese are going to start making Latinos. Oh yeah. And then when Latinos come with a stamp on their head that says made in China, America's going to go like, oh, in that case, come on in. So the next time you guys get into your Japanese-made car and you use your Taiwanese-made GPS system to drive to your nearest Home Depot to pick up your friendly neighborhood immigrant, you'll think to yourself, ah, oh, what was I thinking? Okay, Pedro, I'm so glad to see you. Now come on over and clean my garage for a dollar. Thank you, that's my time.